Guys, how are you doing? It is Life with Northwest Fishing Secrets. Today I'm going to show you how to fillet a salmon. So what we're going to do is take this video step by step and I'm going to explain exactly where to make the cuts, how to make those cuts in a way that you're not going to waste any meat on uh, that fish. So if you have not gotten your fish yet, you know, if, maybe you just bought them, but maybe you want to go ahead and catch them. If you don't know how to catch a salmon, check out a video that I'm going to blend in in the end screen of this video. So if you haven't gotten it yet and you're kind of ahead of yourself, skip to the very end. You can click on that video, watch how to catch a salmon. This one is in the Puget Sound, but really you can use those techniques for anywhere else in the country or probably the world where there's salmon. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to meet you guys outside where I've got the fish on a log and we're going to start cutting them up. All right, so here is the fish that we're going to be working with today. This is a coho that I just caught uh, this morning. What we're going to do is kind of a cool filleting technique that I've been experimenting with. And what's neat about it is that we don't have to gut the fish first, okay? Yeah, there's lots of ways to fillet a fish. And uh, I'm by no means a master filleter, okay? I'm just a fisherman who's experimenting and learning just like you guys, all right? So let's learn together. If you've got uh, a better, you know, any tips or suggestions, uh, just go ahead and feel free to leave a comment and let me know how you guys fillet your fish, all right? So angle-wise, I like to uh, start this way around here. For me, it's just easy to uh, cut this way. I'm right-handed and uh, yeah, so that's, that's just that. We're gonna start uh, beh right behind the gill plate here. There's a little, uh, I believe that's called the collar of the fish, uh, is this section uh, right here. It's kind of a hard bone. I gen Some people leave the whole collar on when they're filleting. I cut a, uh, around it, but I make sure to get the knife right under there, okay, so you're not wasting any meat. That's one thing that I'm huge on when filleting fish is not wasting meat. I see people just poke a knife in and they just cut through the whole thing. Yeah, sure, it takes them only a couple seconds to fillet the fish, but what they're doing is wasting probably a good, uh, you know, 15%, 20% of the meat on, on uh, the salmon, and I think that's just a waste, all right? So, uh, yeah, anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and poke in here. Make sure you don't poke in too far to jab through all the guts. That is one thing that you wanna make sure if we're filleting with the guts in. Uh, that we don't destroy the gut sack and get all the juices flowing everywhere. So we're just gonna cut forward here. Uh, there is quite a bit of meat still up here, uh, up towards the head. You'll feel where the meat is. It goes to about this point there. So I cut at an angle behind that gill plate uh, to get there. Once we hit that spine, uh, I'll stop there. Then I like to just lift this little flipper here and cut the other way. Again, very shallow cut. Don't go down into the uh, gut sack. Cut back and behind that fin. There we go. And then usually we'll pop through just a little bone right there. And just a gentle cut forward, all right? But don't go too far yet. We're gonna leave that right there for later. All right, so we can already see the liver right there, but we're not definitely not touching any of that. So uh, then what we're gonna do is continue this cut. Make sure it's all the way down. And uh, poke the knife in. And what we're gonna do is try to feel uh, so if my hand is the, uh, the the backbones there of the fish, we're gonna try and get that knife sitting on top of those so that we can fillet straight across those bones. The spine is gonna sit right here, so we're gonna keep that blade uh, kissing that spine, but we don't want to ride on top of the spine. We're gonna run up to the spine at the base of it, okay? Because that's where people waste the meat is they cut right above the spine, but then there's meat recessed on each sides of the spine that's being wasted in that uh, that method. So one thing I haven't mentioned is make sure your fillet knife is sharp, okay? This is just a cheap Kershaw, but, uh, but it gets the job done. I sharpen it real nice here before this. So let's go ahead and go on in. And you know, the guys, this is something that you'll learn with a little bit of uh, time and practice. I'm still learning uh, on how to feel that, uh, those, those backbones properly. So I like to maybe just start out with a good center cut down the back and then go on this side of that, uh, that back fin. 
very shallow cut on this first pass, just all the way down the back. All the way. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do next is slowly start folding this open. Now we're just gonna do small passes, very small passes in order to start working our way into this fish, okay? So we're gonna work uh, up to here. You're gonna start feeling some pin bones that you're gonna pop through. Okay, those are okay to cut through. You don't wanna cut through the, uh, the, the, the rib cage. Cut here, make sure to skim right on top of those bones. We don't wanna waste anything. That. I hope I'm not blocking the view here for you. Okay. Every once in a while you'll notice that you'll skip through that backbone and you'll end up on the other side of the fillet. Catch it as early as you can, otherwise you'll start diving into the other fillet and you don't want to destroy that. So, uh, again, this first cut here was just to get up to that, uh, the, uh, the spine. And now we're gonna start rolling over the spine, okay? So we're gonna do kind of a, a rolling cut like this, all right? That motion, I'm gonna exaggerate it, but that's how we're gonna try and go over here. Just little cuts at a time. And then once you're peeking out on top of the spine, here in the front, you're gonna start running into the rib cage, okay? Don't cut through that. Um, and then back here, you'll be able to cut down. Now we're at a downward angle. I mean, look at the angle that I've got this knife at. Downward, 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 there we go. And then you're gonna be skimming across the, uh, the bottom end of bones right there, see that? So when you're cutting on top of here, that straight cut, you can see right there, I don't know if angle-wise you can see it, but you'd be wasting a lot of meat on both sides of the fish, top and bottom. So this way, we worked our way up to the spine, up and over, and down, and we're just kissing those bones on both sides. So now, this is the, in my opinion, the trickiest part, uh, is just sliding properly over this rib cage uh, without digging into the bone too much and getting the knife stuck. I'm getting better at it every time, but it's still nothing that I'm a master at. Uh, in the front, it's a little frustrating. The bones are a bit thicker, uh, so you're you're going to lose a little bit of that meat that's simply in between uh, those those rib bones, uh, just because of their uh, their their diameter. So it's hard to get in there. So I just take the tip there and see. Listen to this, actually. That that sound right there, that's what you want to be hearing. That means that you're really working uh, in between those ribs to get all of that meat out. All right, so remember that gut sac's still in there, so we're not poking in here. Keep that rib cage nice and intact. All right, slide down, look at that, see that? No meat wasted. We don't want to make, uh, waste any of that hard-earned meat. All right, look at that, and then just work your way down. Okay, so then I just tuck up at the fillet a little bit. You can see right there that it lifts those bones. And that gives me a nice amount of control to, um, to, to cut through just those very tips of them. The bones start getting pretty soft right there and then you're just gonna have that stomach membrane. And what I'm doing now is once I get to the, the tip of the bones, you can just push. See that? See that membrane just separate uh, from the, the meat right there? So the, the very tip of the bones or the, the rib cage, don't try and cut them, just push through. And uh, there you go. So that is uh, pretty much that side. So now all we're gonna do is separate uh, that membrane. We don't cut into the guts. All right, there we go. Just cut that tail right there so that it uh, folds over properly. And uh, now we've got a fin right here, okay? We're gonna cut around that fin uh, here just, well, actually we could do it right now. I was gonna do it later, but, uh, but here, check this out. So we're gonna poke the knife at this spot right here. That's right above the butthole. 
and I'll show you where that comes out on the other side. That's gonna be right here, okay? So what we're gonna do then is, uh, geez, you pooped on me a little bit. <laughs> Gotta love it when a fish poops on you. But let's keep everything nice and clean. There we go. All right, get away flies. So what we're gonna do is uh, cut just on the inside of that fin right there. Don't want to cut through the meat, okay? Just the skin. There should just be leftover skin that we're cutting through like that, okay? So right here, this is about where we're gonna leave that. And then we will just close that again. Actually, what you can do, uh, this helps me out sometimes, uh, just to get the other side started. Uh, I, I, for some reason, suck at filleting the other half of the fish. Uh, so the first half always goes pretty easily. Second one's a little tougher. So what I do, uh, let's go ahead and just start with this cut here real fast. There we are. And uh, then I'll find with the tip of that knife, oops, don't cut your fingers. Uh, tip of the knife, I'm gonna go under here and just find those bones right away so that location-wise I'm in the right spot. And then I'll just cut out this way. See that? So now that was kind of the cheater way we already started this end here. And you can kind of see you should be, uh, this part should be so thin that you can actually see the knife under those bones. If you don't see the knife, then you're probably digging too deep and cutting into your fillet. So just dig that knife Oops. right under those bones. Right here at that fin, you're gonna have to angle down to get, because there's bones going this way as well. So you're gonna just angle around that a little bit. There we go, look at that. Okay, so that is already the start for the other side. Now we're just gonna go ahead and flip this puppy around. Boom, like that. And same thing, just run all the way down to that, uh, the spine. We're gonna pop through those little pin bones. Oh, over here we still gotta remember to cut down behind that fin. that little bone and go forward all right so down there those two cuts are already meeting now we're gonna just reverse this process or flip it I guess get right up to that spine again cut away the tail All right, now we're gonna roll over. There we go. And just uh, keep running that blade until we have all those ribs exposed. Or in the front's a little tough. It's very easy to accidentally dig into those bones. Just nice and gentle. I'm doing this backhand for you guys. This isn't easy with the uh, camera in the way there. All right, now let's get this front uh, going there. Okay. And gentle, small cuts, or don't go into the guts. Now we're gonna get to that part. Look at this, this is perfect. Actually, you can see how I'm just, just pulling those bones off the fillet. All right, just pulling a couple little cuts here. We don't wanna tear into the, the fillet. All right, now we just got that gut membrane right there. Pop through it. There we 
go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is on uh, this side here, we're gonna try and come in uh, to cut this fin off again. We're gonna start from the, the back. Right here. All right, so that there, that's the, the butthole. We don't want that. So we're gonna cut right around it. And this is now where the uh, two fillets are meeting. So look at that. Now this whole fish comes out and you've got yourself a nice dual salmon fillet. Isn't that neat? So uh, what's cool about this is now you could uh, go all, I don't know if this is like native style where you could now hang it off of something and, and smoke it like that. Um, what I'm gonna do uh, is actually now separate it. Uh, it's super easy to do from here. You're just gonna come right down the center. Now you're gonna have those two fins there that are a little tough to, to get through. So I like to actually look at what I'm doing there from the other side real quick. Make sure you actually hit the middle of them. There we are. And then just do that final separation. Whoa, guys, sorry. My camera died there for a second and uh, right as I was taking that cut through this little fin down here, you didn't miss much. I think all I was saying was that uh, we wanted to make sure to give a nice firm, clean cut through there and, uh, and and separate these two fillets. And that's yeah, literally all you missed right there. So anyways, really cool. This salmon is filleted out and uh, check this out. Here's the what we started with. And as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of waste. A little bit of meat right there that I accidentally uh, uh, left left back on the bones and that always irritates me all right I hate wasting meat but uh, but otherwise great and all the guts are still contained there and uh, there was no need to gut this fish first so that saved a little bit of time so what we're gonna do with uh, these guts right here is I like to just break uh, the spine right here in the center crack that fold it up and now this here fits really nicely into gallon size Ziploc bags and I just freeze them keep them for whenever I'm crab fishing that way I can use this for bait otherwise if I'm not going to use it for crab or I've just got too many uh, fish heads and guts uh, piling up then I'll take them and actually just bring them back to the Puget Sound or if I was fishing in a river I'll bring them back to that river I just like to bring them back to whatever ecosystem I removed this fish from uh, the rationale behind that is that you're removing nutrients, uh, you know, artificially when you're, you're you're fishing and pulling them out of the system, which can damage that system. So I like to bring as much as possible back so that the little critters, all the little crabs and stuff, and uh, little fish and whatever is going to eat it uh, can go after that, and it goes back into the food chain, okay? Uh, versus just rotting in a landfill and being eaten by seagulls and flies. Uh, so uh, yeah, I believe that that's the best. Let me know if you disagree, and but really I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. So uh, with these guys here. Uh, they are gonna go in the smoker. Uh, super excited about that. I'm gonna, I've got this awesome, awesome salmon recipe, smoked salmon recipe that uh, I call it my maple whiskey smoked salmon. Uh, I use uh, maple syrup and, uh, and whiskey and uh, a pretty simple brining technique. It's a dry brine. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys another little link right here to the the uh, salmon smoking video. I use a Traeger grill, but there's probably a lot of other stuff you can use, but I'm gonna do a nice step-by-step -step guide for you guys so that you can see how to actually smoke these fillets uh, in case you wanted to give that a shot. It's really, really easy. You can probably do it for about, geez, five to $7 worth of ingredients. Uh, assuming you've got a bottle of whiskey at home, that's gonna cost more. But uh, <laughs> anyways, I will uh, catch you guys for that. I hope you check out that video. Hope you liked it. Let me know if there's anything that you would have done differently. So uh, yeah, feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell button, that way you get notified when the new videos come out. It's just lots of Pacific Northwest fishing, as well as fish recipes, uh, filleting, any, you know, just how to's, maybe some uh, gear reviews here in the near future as well. And I'd love to have you guys join me on that journey. So until next time, fish on.